Hello and welcome to Bread of Life. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Mark Sharnick of Meriden. Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What a pleasure and honor it is to once again be with you on the radio. Uh, I'll be using our for our text this week, Isaiah chapter 6, verses 1 through 8, and I strongly urge you to read it. Uh, Isaiah is in the presence of the Lord. He sees God on his throne, high and lifted up. He sees himself as being uh, a man of unclean lips. And then finally, he hears the Lord's voice saying, Who shall we send and who will go for us? I want to look at this uh, for the next week. Often we hear critics say a a movie or a play is a must-see. What they mean is that it is in your best interest to see it. It will bring you enjoyment, entertainment, or education. But there are some things which must be seen and with far greater consequences. This week I want to talk to you about some must-sees found in Isaiah chapter 6. First of all, we must see him as king. Jesus has absolute authority in our lives. I ask you, do do you hold back some portion of your life? Is it our time that we hold back? We we have so much to do. We're we're just so busy. Do we hold back a portion of our time from from the Lord? Is it our talents? Maybe we just don't see the benefits of investing ourselves in the kingdom of God. Or is it our tithes? Friends, anything less than 10% of your income is not a tithe. It may be a tip, but it's not a tithe. Now, for those of you who have not turned off your radio, let me go on. I think we're afraid of letting go. We're afraid of of submitting and yielding our very uh, all to God. And I have to ask, how's it working for you so far? Let's see. Uh, He's the Ancient of Days. He's the Rock of Ages. From everlasting to everlasting, he's God. I think he's got it uh, in his hands. I I think he's better able to direct our lives than we are. Friends, he is high and lifted up. He is above all else. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. His throne is above all others, far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. If you can't honestly say that that is the place in your life that God occupies, then, my friend, you've not seen him as Lord. Not Lord, If he is Lord, then he is master, and he occupies the very throne of your life, your heart, your command center. He will be high and lifted up. Friends, I I have to say, he is either Lord of all, or he's not Lord at all. Our God is worthy of our best. He's worthy of our highest. He's worthy of our first, of our richest, of our biggest. He is worthy of everything we are, everything we ever will be or ever have. We must see him as king and Lord over all of our lives. And I pray you will see him as high and lifted up today. You've been listening to Pastor Mark Sharnick of Meriden, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.